Hello loves, hope all is well. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming to you guys with an empties vid, which I don't really do much, but I think I've done one before. So I pretty much just put everything in my little Sephora bag uh, and I wait to make a video before I throw away my trash. So I'm just gonna get started. Um, the first thing, I have actually two of these and it is the Sephora Eau Mercelier. It's the micellar water, it's triple action cleansing water. And I love this stuff. It's about $20 a bottle at Sephora, which I don't mind spending for because I absolutely love it. It comes with a pump. I was thinking of maybe saving this bottle for the pump. So I, I threw one away, but I'm saving this bottle because I am waiting for an order from overseas for some other micellar water. So I wanna see if maybe this pump will fit the bottle. That's the case. Best dispensing system ever. I digress. So the next thing I have used up is the Vaseline Spray and Go um, moisturizer and this is the one in the cocoa the plain old pure cocoa butter one <laughs> I don't know and you just spray it on and I use it for all over my body I want to pick up the green one I think it's cool something cucumber whatever and I actually like this I got this in a box box last year or this year whatever I got this in a Vox box and I never used it I just kind of left it aside and then when I ran out of moisturizer I ended up using this and I really really like this so this is gonna be a repurchase the next item I've been using every day is my clear eyes contact lens multi action relief drops I bought a couple boxes of this so I am up to speed with having a replacement but this I love it is good for my sensitive eyes sometimes it burns but that's because I leave my contacts on days on end um especially because I work at night and I just want to go to sleep so shh, don't tell anyone but this is actually some really good drops you can use um these eye drops or any eye drops for that matter for uh using pig on pigments for eyeshadows or just to darken up eyeshadows um I'm sure in some of my tutorials you've seen me spray my brushes with some fix plus or some face spray and I also use eye drops and it works just the same get them from the dollar store do it but yes I actually like this version the clear eyes because it's made for contact lens so yeah so that's going in the garbage so some lashes here these were the demi wispies uh, the Miss Adora ones they actually ripped on me the first time I used them so I wasn't too excited about them but they were really pretty and they just kind of accentuated my lashes more uh, not the ones that I'm wearing today. I'm wearing uh, red cherry lashes. Yeah, I put them on and then when I took them off, I went to clean them and before I even, they just kind of ripped. So, yeah. So, I kind of feel bad because they were really pretty. They're very wispy and they were inexpensive. They're only $1.49, so it's like whatever. I'll probably replace these just so I can try them again. Maybe the band was just too thin. But yeah, that's an empty. Another empties I have is the Clinique Liquid mild facial soap. I could probably get another use out of this. Uh, I bought the Equate version, which is the Walmart version of this, and it came in a pump. Absolutely love it. It is the same exact product. This is really mild and perfect for, um, I guess it's made for dry combination skin. Love it. It's a great cleanser for the morning. Because I have dry skin, I'm not one to one to keep washing my face like two, three times a day like some people do. So I would use this in the mornings and then I'll use like witch hazel and stuff like that at night or before I apply my makeup, which you guys have seen me use as well. But this actually wasn't bad. This came in like a trio kit so you can try out the moisturizer and the toner. I have plenty of both of those. But this, of course, I use every other day or every day. So I do have the, like I mentioned before, I do have the Equate version of it. And I actually prefer the other one better. Even though they feel the same and they do the same thing, it's just because it's cheaper. So that's always a plus. <laughs> Next empty I have here, and it's rubbed off, is my Anastasia of Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And this one's an Ebony. And I ran out again. This is my third pencil. This is my third pencil. Whatever pencil, I have a third of. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think this was my second pencil, but I love using it. It comes with a spoolie. It is a little pricey, but I get it from their website. So, um, or you can pick it up at Sephora and Ulta and all those places. I love this very much and it is a rebuy, so yeah. I have a few gel liners here that I'm just getting rid of because they dried out. And the first one is the NYX Gel Liner and Smudge. I have tried I've, I've used it quite a bit 
and now it's starting to dry out so these aren't like they're not loved it's just that I'm not getting a creamy enough eyeliner where I can make a decent line out of it without it looking like it's skipping um, and it for it to kind of stay because I feel like they smudge out too quickly so this NYX gel liner is not a fave of mine uh, at all so this is going in the garbage the next liner which I'm saddened about because I love it actually it's the wet and wild Fergie uh, liquid liquid gel liner or cream liner this one dried out on me I did not mind using it at all I actually preferred this one out of all of them it did not skip I can make one fluid line and then build on it but it does smudge it doesn't seem to set like I want it I do have two of these in my uh, makeup kit and I have the brown one and the I repurchased the black one so I don't know if maybe it was just this one because this one dried up really really quick on me so whatever it is what it is now this one I just hate and if I ever do a favorites video I'm just not gonna have this as an unfavorite because I'm gonna throw it out and it is the Rimmel gel liner and this one is 001 I think it said it was waterproof and it came with like a, a liner brush and everything this sucks for lack of better words I don't like it I don't even like it on the lid as a base for a smoky eye like I just there's something about this I just don't like um, the packaging seems like it's very plasticky I don't know it doesn't look so bad on the swatch but when I go to line my eyes it just skips so much I have to redip this brush at least 20 times per eye just so I can get a decent line I just it's frustrating as hell to me and I don't and won't repurchase this so bleh, to that okay so then I have some cosmetics oh my god um so my first empty is the dream Lumi. I could probably get some clicks out of this because I love it this is the dream Lumi touch highlighting concealer it's from Maybelline it is great I know there's some on the brush oh yeah it is great I love it actually there was more on the brush I could have probably used this today um, I could probably get a click or two out of this but this is it right here I love it for highlighting I kind of want to say this is I haven't tried it yet but the Mac prep and prime I think that this would be a good kind of alternative for it anything that says Lumi on it I would try um, so I might repurchase this I'm not sure yet and my next empty which I have repurchased but I cannot find it for the life of me is my instant a my next empty is my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circle uh, Concealer and there's nothing I can't get nothing out of it I bought the pinky not the neutralizer because I have the neutralizer but I think it's like a I want to say it's a highlight honestly so it would take place of this and then I repurchased light so but I can't find it Ugh. So the last but not least is my Jessie's Girl liquid eyeliner and this is black and I can get a swipe out of it but it's like faint it's faint and I just know it's run out so but I love this liquid eyeliner it's drying out I can tell from the way it goes on the eye I can't get so whatever last time I couldn't get one eye in so absolutely love this liquid liner I get it at Rite Aid which carries Jessie's Girl's products and I have a backup anyway so we're good we're good but I love this product this is like my go-to liquid eyeliner I don't know I haven't found anything else that's like it love the felt tip love the formulation of it and I love the packaging um I think it's under six dollars so if you are interested in trying this out definitely pick it up at Rite Aid and probably online and yeah so that is pretty much it for my empties I hope you guys enjoy these kinds of videos I do them sporadically like favorites and all that stuff um and yeah so <laughs> I don't know if you guys like these kind of videos but if you do please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video I love you guys bye